Hello again, I am Blunt, and if you've kept an eye on my channel over the past couple of days, you would have seen a couple of videos I've put up comparing the new camera module in the iPhone 6 Plus, my new iPhone 6 Plus, with my old iPhone 5S. And there are only subtle differences. I mean, anyone who was expecting a huge leap forward was just fooling themselves anyway. There was never going to be that. I mean, the 5S was already one of the best, if not the best, camera phone experience on the market anyway. So any you know improvement over the of the six models was only ever going to be minor and there is some minor differences um, in particular uh, in, in stills mode uh, the low light improvement is huge it, it is just a massive uh, noticeable difference in low light performance when you're shooting in the dark it's much less noise it's much cleaner focusing is faster it's wonderful um, and in video mode there are only subtle differences a little bit difference in the tones and the contrast and slight difference in field of view which you may be able to see here sort of side by side I've got both rolling at the same time but you know nothing that's really game changing except this one feature which I'm uh, going to show you about today in case you're wondering what all this junk is I was just sitting here at my desk fiddling with all my uh, microphones and adapters and my little USB adapter for my USB microphone and my uh, uh, headphone microphone adapter thing there and my lights and the, I was testing the Wi-Fi modes on a couple of different cameras make sure all of this stuff that I usually sort of combine with my iPhone when I'm shooting um, still works and there was no sort of weird hiccups in, in upgrading the model you know it, you never know you have to check make sure, make sure things work before you actually head out in the field and try to use the damn thing so that's what I was sitting here doing but as I was sitting here fiddling around with it testing various microphones I noticed this is also a really good opportunity to show you the biggest difference in the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus uh, over the old models and I can show you by lifting an anime figure just in front of the camera here as you can see the 6 Plus focuses immediately um, the 5S doesn't look like it wants to refocus so I'll manually tap to refocus the product there and it slowly comes into focus and when we take it away again uh, the iPhone 6 plus refocuses immediately and the 5s doesn't um, so we'll just retap there and you can see it sort of hunts and back and and slowly refocuses but if we bring the uh, figure up again instant focus on the 5s but uh, over on the oh, sorry instant focus on the 6 but if uh, on the 5s it's sort of sluggish and have to manually trigger it and even then it's not very smooth it kind of hunts back and forth at either end but you know this is the new focus pixels what Apple wants to call focus pixels and what camera nerds have known for some time now is phase detection and as you can see here it's just working absolutely flawlessly here so let's just refocus the 5s there we get it nice and tight come on refocus come on you know you want to see so I'm thinking just a not yeah there we go there we go I was just a little bit too close to it to focus properly but yeah they're both you know lovely and sharp they're dealing well with the contrast they're dealing well with the exposure and everything it's just you know that focus it's a huge difference I mean this is a game changer type of stuff if you do desktop demonstrations uh, like I do a lot of when I'm reviewing gear you know I hold this stuff in front of the camera as I do and a lot of other people do as well if you do that please get a tripod because it's nothing worse than seeing the shaky cam when you're trying to demonstrate in something in one hand and hold the camera in the other it's just ridiculous get a simple tripod come on guys but yeah so you know as soon as you bring it up in front of the camera uh, oh that's a good example too and the um, exposure is going wacky there with the dark object so that um, yeah it makes a huge difference when you're demonstrating that kind of stuff let's turn on the thing here see if we can get uh, the screen to focus yep perfect focus on the screen away again See, it's just, this is this is a game changer for me. This means I can actually use my iPhone 6 Plus as a practical tool for doing this sort of desktop stuff, um, which is going to come in really handy, particularly when I'm shooting at events and, you know, press events when they're talking about, uh, you know, new products and me get something to play with or, you know, going to, uh, you know, anything. Anywhere when you're, at, you know, they're showing off products and stuff and you just want something nice and easy to actually demonstrate it to camera without having to worry about focus so much. I mean, this... Uh, ref, uh, focusing works even better than my my favorite camera this is the OMD EM10 this has really nice focus on it but the 6 uh, 6 plus uh, focus is just as smooth but even faster than this um, depending on what lens you're using with this it can be fa uh, quite fast in video mode but uh, it usually doesn't hunt too much either but um, yeah it's yeah, man, the 6 plus is even better than that um, and you know where's my other one there we go this is the other one i use a lot of the time the lumix g6 really really great video out of that thing but the focus on the fly in video um not really that smooth um great manual you know it's got focus peaking everything which is beautiful but uh yeah this you know this means i'm gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna whip out my six plus straight out of my pocket and i can do a lot a lot of uh two camera or you know demonstration type stuff 
on the spot without any other gear around. Well, maybe the microphone because, uh, you know, the microphones are important. Sound is important. But, yeah, this is uh, absolute game changer as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I've waffled on for um, far more than I planned to. But uh, you're getting a really good idea. Oh, the iPhone 5S nearly wanted to focus properly there. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, my absolute, you know, top tip. <laughs> no, it's not really a tip, but absolute favorite feature. And I've said that like three or four times now. I'm just rambling. I'm really excited about it, as you may be able to tell. That's all that's going on here. I'm just really, really excited uh, to tell you people about it and show it off uh, in, a, in a more practical way than the video footage that I, I did the other comparison with when it was all sort of outdoor stuff. And there was a, a bit of... The difference in focusing going on in that video but this is much this is a much easier much clearer much more obvious demonstration anyway i am blunty thank you for watching and i will catch you next time